We're out on Monterey Bay with marine biologists who are studying whales. And this might sound a little crazy, but this is a story about artificial intelligence. People have been studying whales for hundreds of years, and they know a lot about how whales behave, what their biology is. But one thing that they don't know a lot about is what they're saying. And these scientists are betting that artificial intelligence might be what helps unlock what whale communication is all about. Right off our bow, Blake, 150 meters. Ari's given directions to get ourselves close enough so that he can use his crossbow to collect a biopsy sample. Back behind us at our 7 o'clock. There it is, wow. The scientists are trying to get blubber samples they can add to years of data they've already collected. Everything from how whales move to what they see to the sounds they make. But first, Ari has to get close enough to make contact. Slow down. Oh, wow, it's right there. Do you see it? It's huge. You're in a good spot, actually, just kind of idle forward. Oh, wow. Come a little right. Oh, they're after it. Look at that. There's two of them. You can see two of them. Slow down, slow. Here we go. <laughs> These whales are toying with us. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's okay, we, we don't, there's no reason to push. Even though the marine biologists didn't get the samples they were hoping for today, the big picture plan is to take all the data they already have and plug it into an AI system. What you can do with AI is effectively say, find me combinations or patterns in the data that occur over and over and over again and in a certain sequence. And then on top of that, are there sounds that are associated with these different clusters of behaviors or movement patterns? Would we be able to communicate back to whales if we learned what they were saying? There are ways, yes, you could then set up an experiment and say, this is what I would predict the animal would do if this is what this sound's meaning is. Would you want to speak back to them? Me personally, no. I just don't think it's appropriate, to be honest. I think we have a responsibility to minimize our impact on animals. I want to know what they're saying so that when we go out there, I can say, are these animals healthy? And I think I can do that by listening to them. Unfortunately, despite how benign we think something is that we're pursuing intellectually, there's going to be people that, that are going to take advantage of it. And it needs to be somehow monitored and policed.